Hi everyone, this is Leech. Today I will be talking about the issue of sizing in watercolor paper. So I had quite a few questions when I posted a story a couple of days ago about paper losing its sizing and the main question people posed to me was what is sizing? Well, uh, sizing is what gives water resistance to watercolor paper. Otherwise, it would be very absorbent and it would be impossible to paint uh, your watercolors on top of that paper. So sizing gives a resistance to the paper. It also makes it a little bit more durable. So some companies make their paper which um, is sized to the core. That means that it's applied internally into the pulp of the paper and some, some of them apply it on the surface only. Uh, Honestly, you, you get what you pay for, which is why it's much easier to paint on good quality paper because they've been internally sized and the sizing is very even on both sides and more often than not, you can use both sides of the paper and it feels relatively similar. Right, so the next question that people uh, asked me was, um, can my watercolor paper expire? The answer is yes and no. Um, it, it really depends. So some papers, well people have, have told me that they've kept their papers for you know 50 years and it's still in good condition. Uh, I've kept paper for two weeks and, and found that it's not in great condition. So I, I think it, it really depends. So um, what, what does it mean that watercolor paper expires? It expires when its sizing is affected. So imagine if your paper doesn't have the power to resist water anymore. It's going to just absorb all the water that you put onto the surface. That gives you no time at all to manipulate the paint on top of the, the paper, the surface of the paper. That's, that's what people mean by watercolor paper expiring when the sizing is lost. And the last question I want to address is how can I safely store my paper? Um, related to this question would be how is sizing lost from the paper in the first place? Most often it's because of storage issues. Uh, watercolor paper if stored in a cool dry place with few temperature fluctuations and kept away from chemicals um, will, will keep for a long time. Now, heat and humidity are two big enemies of paper. Uh, they will both affect the sizing and pretty quickly. So keep it away from heat and humidity if you can. If you can't, for example, I live in Singapore and there's just no way it's hot every day. Um, I, I, I would advise people in this sort of climate to not buy too much paper to keep. Don't go crazy on a sale and you know buy a ton of paper that you can't use. Um, buy and use your paper. The longer you keep it, the more likely it's going to have lost sizing. Sizing can also be lost through other methods. Um, yeah, so, some students like to stretch their paper uh, and the tub that they use could be contaminated with a chemical or with detergents. And so after stretching the paper and drying it, the sizing of the paper could be affected. Uh, similarly, if your brushes have been cleaned with a brush soap or a chemical cleaner, you know, sometimes using that brush on the paper will also affect the sizing. A tip for people who live in hot and humid areas who already have paper and you know want to keep it safe, uh, you can put your paper in a ziplock or wrap it in a cellophane and just stuff some silica gel into the packaging to keep it dry. Uh, that should help for a bit but please just use your paper. I'll be doing a quick demo to show you what loss sizing looks like in case you are curious. I've got two samples of paper here, one with loss sizing and the other one is fine. So I'm going to show you what's the difference by applying water first and then by applying paint so that you can see, uh, identify paper with loss sizing. Right, so this paper is still okay and what I'll do is um, I'm going to hold it closer to the camera and then I'm going to just apply, here we go, just apply water on it. And you see that when I apply the water, it stays on the surface. It's quite comfortable just on top of the paper. 
and it doesn't get absorbed immediately so this is this is what this is what the sizing does it creates a resistance for your water to stay on the surface this is how we paint with watercolors okay i'm gonna blot that off and then i'm gonna show you what it looks like on paper with lost sizing now i'm gonna do the same thing and um i'm gonna just color this and you'll see can you see oh it's so thirsty it's absorbed everything and now there's a, a mark on the paper it looks as if the paper is like super absorbent and it doesn't it doesn't stay on the water doesn't stay on the surface i'll do that again so you can see it just because it's fun yeah so it's, it sits there for a while but you can see it's it's kind of thirsty and it just gets absorbed by the paper there you go and it's in right because of this i won't be able to create wet in wet effects um i would have to improvise uh, it's not ideal for painting with watercolors if you have paper with a lost sizing like this i mean you know just use it you know you could test your paint on it or you can just paint a different style it doesn't have to be wet and wet but essentially it's not really watercolor paper anymore uh, you can buy uh um well this i've heard from other students who are like you know crazy shoppers they buy everything and they buy like a, a, a sizing solution to reapply on the paper so you could do that uh, if, if it matters that much to you um, if not just use your paper okay so now I'm gonna show you what it looks like oh, let me just get that um, on some a painting that I already did uh, so this is this is paper which has perfect sizing it's great so you can see like it's smooth and and uh the wet and wet effects are are lovely and this is on paper that has lost its sizing and you'll see it's kind of blotchy and it's blotchy because when you apply the paint it absorbs immediately so you see all these spots it's exa exactly the same technique as here but um because it doesn't stay on the surface it gets absorbed immediately the mark is made much quick quicker than on a watercolor paper um, the other thing you want to look out for is you'll see these little spots and you will also see that the paper seeps uh, it's so thirsty that the paint actually seeps to the other side and um you can't use both sides anymore so this is this is what it looks like on the other side you can see the paint has gone through the paper because there's no more sizing right so i hope that helped uh, i hope that you've learned what sizing is and why your paper can expire and how to store your paper so that you can reduce the chances of uh, lost sizing in your watercolor paper if you have any questions, you can still post them to me in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye.